Hey guys, Clever27 here. Um, back again, doing my another end of the fence of video. Uh, I haven't done one in a while, so uh, I figured I might as well do one since I did say it was going to be one of the primary features on uh, my channel. Might as well, right? Um, this is kind of connected to one of my other end of the fence of videos that I did a while ago. I think it was one of my first ones. It was uh, video game adaptations. So, uh, I did I did one on a bunch of video game adaptations. I mentioned one movie in particular, and the reason why I'm doing this is because this movie, another sequel, just came out, and that is Resident Evil. Um, I saw Resident Evil Afterlife. I was going to do a review on it. I just figured I might as well do it in defense of and mention it in this video. So, whatever. Um, sorry. I just finished eating lunch. Um... You need to know that. Uh, so, I'm a fan of the Resident Evil series. I like the games. I like the movies, and there's a lot of fans out there that don't that love the games and hate the movies. Um, and like I said before, um, and like I say every time, uh, anytime this comes up, you know, like video game adaptations or book adaptations, it, Hollywood is always yes. Hollywood is always going to mess it up. They're always going to find something to mess up. They're going to change something that the fans don't like. Um, fans are the same way. Uh, they'll say it's not close to the video games. Uh, and when they, But if they ever make a movie that's really close to the video games, it's exactly like the video games, I'm pretty sure fans are going to bitch about that too. So you, it's really it's, it's, it's really a non-win situation for both sides, for the fans and for Hollywood. Um, in my opinion, of course. All of this is my opinion, by the way. I'm not saying this is a fact or anything like that, so don't get all your, you know, panties in a bunch. Um, so, like I said, I'm, I'm a fan of the Resident Evil series, both games and movies. I love the first one. I think the first one is personally the best one of the series. I think the first one is probably one of the closest to the games because it has the horror element and it has the action element. Um, it has the zombies. It doesn't have like the primary, you know, big bosses like um, like Wesker or Nemesis or Tyrant or any other, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I like the first movie. I thought it was really, like I said, it was the best one. And like I said, I'm repeating myself, but you know, I got to get the point out there. I think it's the closest to the video games. It has the horror element and it has the action element. The second one, um, which I think a lot of people hate, a lot. <laughs> I've read some of the message boards. Um, kind of skips away from the horror element. I mean, there's still horror elements in there. Uh, you know, the pop-out moments, which I think it's run its course in horror movies, um, personally. Um, and... Uh, it has more of the action. It started putting more of the action. And they got more characters in there. We finally saw Nemesis. Um, and then the third one came out. And it completely went... And I agree with with video game fans when they say about this. It completely went away from the video games. It became more of just uh, another... It just became a, a movie that uses the name Resident Evil. Um, it doesn't really have elements of the video games, I agree with that, but I don't judge a movie, especially a video game movie like that. Um, I lost my train of thought. I was going to say something really, I was going to say something I think important too. Uh, apparently it wasn't, so I can't remember. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know, like, okay, I kind of got my train of thought back. Uh, the third one, obviously, probably wasn't the best one of the series. And, now that Resident Evil Afterlife came out, it was shot in 3D. Uh, it wasn't converted into 3D, so I made the 3D actually look pretty good. Um, in my opinion, I think the fourth one is the third best of the series. So it goes Resident Evil 1, 2, 4, and 3 for me, anyway. Um, I liked Afterlife. I thought it was great. I thought, well, it was okay, but you know, for, for what it's worth, it was, it was a great movie. Um, yeah, uh, and there were some things I did find wrong with it. You know, like there was a lot of uh, fading in and out, and you know they could have used a little bit less slow mo. There's one scene in there that I didn't deserve slow mo, and it got slow mo anyway. But 
whatever. Um, but I did like it. Uh, and like I said, I liked all the Resident Evil movies, at least for the most part. Um, but when people say, you know, oh, they're not close to the games. You know, there's no original plot. There's no char- big character development. There's no, uh, uh, you know, really good acting. When you think about it, you know, the games aren't really that plot heavy either. A lot of them have kind of ridiculous moments in them as well. I mean, come on, if you played Resident Evil 5 in the last mission, you know what I'm talking about. Was he? Re- I know he was infected, but come on. I know it's a video game, but still, come on. Um, that was geeking me, sorry. Um, let me check soda. I should really stop drinking soda in these videos. Um, I just lose my train of thought. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, like I was saying, yeah, the plot in the video games aren't, you know, it, it's pretty much the same thing, really, when you think about it. Uh, you're in a mansion, you're in a city, you're in a small town, you're in a foreign little village, um, and what are you doing? You're trying to survive while shooting stuff, solving puzzles, uh, and doing all this other stuff. Now, yes, that can be said, okay, it's for entertainment value, but when you think about it, the movies are also made for entertainment values. Is Paul W.S. Anderson the greatest filmmaker out there? No, but he's done a couple good movies that I can think of. I, I... Uh, you know, I'll admit, I've had times where I'm like, Paul, really, Paul, really? But a lot of times I, I enjoy his movies, because, uh, uh, here's the thing, I'm going to say this right off the bat. Now, I'm, the, I'm defending Paul W.S. Anderson now. I guess it connects to the Resident Evil 2, because he make, he make the first one and the last one. And he produces the other two. Paul makes movies that are kind of popcorn movies, like G.I. Joe. Yes. I like G.I. Joe. I thought it was a fun, entertaining movie. Best movie out there? No. But it was entertaining nonetheless. Just like the Resident Evil series. I don't think I think people don't get the Resident Evil series is really kind of a uh, a fun, you know, just sit back, enjoy uh, fun, entertaining popcorn movie. I don't think people don't get that. I think people are just so into the fact that it was a video game movie, it's a video game franchise that they love. And when they found out they were going to make it to a movie, they were just like, they had so many expectations that it just, you know, it just, you know, kind of blinded them of what, you know, blinded them of going in and enjoying a movie. And I, I, I think I've said this I, in my last In Defense video when I mentioned uh, video game adaptations, that what Hollywood really does is they're trying to not only please the fans and more and you know pretty much the marketing for the films is fans you put uh, something up there like Resident Evil obviously fans of the Resident Evil series or have heard of the Resident Evil series are going to go see it uh, same thing with Mortal Kombat with Street Fighter with the upcoming Bioshock movie a uh, bunch of other stuff you know it's just it bothers me. It really does. And, you know, what, what they're trying to do is not, like I said, not just drag in the uh, the fans of the series, but they're also trying to get a new audience. So they're adding, element, they're adding elements and plot twists and characters to, you know, to really just get everybody involved into it. So they're not just trying to please the video game fans. They're also trying to please other people that I'm not heard of, you know, um, the series, or don't play video games, um, but yes, I agree, before you say anything, Resident Evil fans, yes, I, 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 can, I can hear you saying it right now, the movie is kind of made for us, it's made for the fans, and if the fans don't like it, then it's just shit on the screen. Okay, that's fine. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, obviously. Everybody can complain about the movie. But, and then there's always the comment, well, just don't see it that. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to call myself a hypocrite here because I end up saying that sometimes too. Well, just don't end up seeing it. If you're going to complain about it on the message boards, don't go watch it. I ended up using that. It's not about that. It's the same thing with 3D. You know, oh my god, I can't believe the movie's in, in 3D. 
well, just don't see it in 3D. Well, that's not the point. It's just the thought. <laughs> I think I've just skipped away from defending the Resident Evil series in this video. Um, it's just, you know, it bothers me. I'm just going to get that out there. It does. It bothers me. It bothers me that people out there are just, you know, they don't enjoy the movie because they're looking for plot holes and they're looking for certain stuff that should be in the film and that shouldn't be in the film. And yes, we are entitled to our opinions and our thoughts and our criticisms and our praises and stuff like that. It's just... When you go watch a movie, you should just enjoy it. Sit there, enjoy the film, and, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you hate it, you hate it. And that's kind of what the Resident Evil series is. It's one of those movies where you just sit down, you watch it, maybe with a couple buddies, and you enjoy it. You enjoy the ride. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to stop because I'm pretty sure I've been rambling on for a while. I usually time my videos, but not this one. Especially these. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop. So, I was getting into the, the rhythm of these videos again. I haven't done one in so long. Um, next time I will defend whatever I'm defending. Tore to the core. Um, and final thought though, like I said, the Resident Evil series is a series, the movies, is a series that is really just about fun, entertaining, pop, it's a popcorn movie, that's what it is. And, I don't know, I think just fans of, this, of the video games just don't like them because it's not like the video games. And like I've said, if they make a movie just like the video game, they're still going to complain. So, like I said, it's a lose-lose situation for both sides. For Hollywood, excuse me, and for fans and for viewers. So, I'm going to stop. I'll let you guys soak it in, <laughs> my rambling. That's pretty much what it is. It's a rant. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's it. So, let me know what you guys thought of my rambling rant in defense of Resident Evil series um, hopefully I'll make more of these it's just something that's really out there and I want to do it because Resident Evil just came out so um, let me know what your ranking of the Resident Evil series is um, hell, if you want to tell me what your favorite game of the series is that's cool too uh, I like Resident Evil 5 the fir very first Resident Evil 1 um, I haven't really put too much, too much thought into what my favorite ones are. That's one of the two. Um, Nemesis. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys thought, either in the comments or in the responses below. I am ready to take criticisms. I am ready to take uh, anything you guys throw at me. So, um, you know, it's, this is what kind of YouTube is for. You know, it's getting to know one another and say what you think and hear what other people think. So... That's pretty much it, and um, I know I didn't defend Resident Evil that much, but uh, I, I will try to get back into the rhythm of doing this and defending, um, really defending the series. So, uh, yeah, I'm done. See you guys next time.